accuracy of any of it. That shit's so fucking cool. We're going, where are we going, Billy? Go Coonan! Coonan! Alright! <laughs> Gonna get you some coon? Fuck him up! We're going GMS Coonan. They didn't think we were coming, but the Lord has sent us. The Lord spoke to me and said, Thou shalt go speak in the name of the Word of God to the GMS Israelites and shall cut them asunder with the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. Cut them and fuck them! Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, so bear with us. And Billy, of course, you love Kunan, don't you? Genesis, Genesis, chapter thir chapter 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The day of mourning for my father is at hand. Then Will I slay my brother Jacob? I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka Kodash, the Wadi Yahashim El Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who deserve double honors, rightfully so. And Shalom to the Aki and pushing the word into sincerity and truth, and being faith-based, and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID trip, which is the mark of the beast. And yes, this is the year of Karagma, prophesied and coined by the Apostle Tahar, rightfully so. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifting up the hopeful elect into the chambers. Simultaneously, the, whole, the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens, rightfully so. Um, Salakia, you know, but when I heard this beat, I mean, when I heard this video, when I saw this video, that was the first thing I thought of. You know, we had, a, when I was, you know, when I grew up in my era, that's what they said. They like, we got beef, you know, and it, it, it made me come to this, this verse right here. Not thinking calmly on my side, because we have to think spiritual. And spiritually, spiritual, this is a spiritual war. You know, the blessings that Yahweh Shemel shout that because if you read the chapters of Genesis, everything is explained to you for what it is, what's going to happen. Because not only do we have beef with our the closest nation to us, which would be the Edomites, our so called brother Esau, right? But we also have beef with the other nations. Because we were blessed by the Lord of Yahweh Shem El Shah, by Hashem Dash, and it was given to us. Everything that's going on and everything that's happening is for us. It's for us to to, to learn what we got. Who's who and what's what and how we're going to conduct ourselves. That's why it's so important to stay spiritual, because we have beef, and that's a sling for we, there's trouble coming our way. We gotta look out, we gotta watch our back. Because there's things happening. I know recently I, I watched a um, video of one of the brothers. Oh, I think I, I think it was on um it, it was it was in the air, the video, a couple of videos have been out. Edomites gunning gunning ladies down with their children in the car. Gunning Jake women down with their children. One the one of the babies, one of the child died. So we got beef, bro. And this is a spirit, and, and you know, they are hurt because we are reading, brothers. Okay, the number one enemy that we have, because to have beef, is to have enemies. Alright, what's beef? When they go, they, they gunning down your goddamn children. 
while you in the car with them. What's beef? They've been lynching us for decades. Gunning us down. Cops. Two third cops at that too. Salaki. And forgive me. Psalms chapter 37, verse 12. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. They run down on us. So what is we preparing ourselves for? The righteous man is preparing for what is to come. This is going to be a standard that's going to stand for the righteous. And that we're going to be slaves and being martyrs. Because we don't want to accept the mark of the beast. There's so much thing. And we got to worry about our own fucking people. Let alone this damn monster right here. These monsters. Looking worthless. Slocky. All right, because we have a we have a protector, and we what we do we do it. Um, the apostle um, I mean, Salaki, the elder from Chicago, he made a, a, a um. He he said a a, a a saying. He said we putting our life and our laws on the line. That's what we putting on the line. Our life and our laws, and it makes so much sense. All right, because our life, we are being like Yahweh shot, and Yahweh shot did not come to to, um, to uh, interrupt the laws. He said, "Follow the laws to your best ability." Name of, lack of lack, lack of term, but because in the society we can't do it all. We in their dominion. This is why they can run around and say they're coon hunting. GMS coon, we're not coons. We're not shucking the job for these idiots. Psalms, chapter 37, verse 13. The Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, shall laugh at him. For he seeth that his days, his day is coming. Your day is coming, Ashashua. Aduwam. You all going to feel the wrath. We ain't got to go do nothing. To go up there and, and fight against you. Pull out guns. No, that's not our, that's not our, our thing is the book. That's what's making us. So why do you have Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone? And Shalom on to the Akim for following suit. The, the body the whole for the Zion one of them whole for let. Yes, we learn Hebrew. We we, we 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 learn to look up words in Greek, Latin. Brothers learn other languages. We learn how to conduct our kids. We, 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 we put our kids in right orders. This is what they mad about. That we are not acting like coons. They mad that we not acting like coons. Conducting ourselves. That's why it's so important that we be spiritual. See, they, their beef with us is that we don't do the shit, the nigga shit. Like I said, it's important that we stay humble and righteous. Meek. Right? Because the richest man in the, the fucking richest eater in the world still can't get what, he, what we got. We still riches in him. Alright? Psalms chapter 37 verse 16. A, a little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of, of many wicked. Of many wicked. They, they don't, they don't matter how much they, they don't, they don't hide all the gold and the silver, the gems, the diamonds, the, everything they hide that's precious. We still richer than them. Kum yasha Allah. This is, this and it's beautiful. Ain't nobody upset about what you're doing. That just make us look better. Thank you. I brought the Zah. The Wadi Abba Shem for just just giving us the, give, just giving us the, these, these gems back. Make it, he promised that he gave, he said he gonna give us this back as long as we did, get it. We, we, we was told from the beginning. We, it, this has all been ordained by Yahweh Shem We just gotta live it out. 
have no fear for what is to come. And that's what we're fighting for. Okay. Which is beautiful. Um right Ecclesiastes chapter seven verse nine Be not hasty hasten in the spirit to be angry for anger resteth resteth in the bosom of fools he's a fool He's a fool for what they're those two fools. <laughs> Look at those fools. I'm Joshua. It don't matter. You know, the Richies, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the, the, the Oppenheimers, and all the um the either the higher Edomites. Your little one, the little ones that's running around doing that shit right there, make y'all look like fools. Cause you didn't take that's why they mad. Because they realize that you didn't take care of them. That's it. It's beautiful. They're fools. <laughs> fools. <laughs> I mean, brother, you are you're the closest one to us. Look at you, and then, and, then, and then the scriptures is the scriptures is so plain. I'm about to why you about to be? I'm shocked. Yes, we understand. We understand. Brothers, we don't have to do nothing illegal to win. We're doing a righteous thing. This is righteous. Reading the corner, stay on the corner. We have rights to do this. And you know what proved this? We, at one time, we didn't have rights to read the book, the Bible. But we read it now. Through the Spirit of Yahweh Shinao Shah. They didn't do nothing. They, they, they mad at they themselves. They Listen. That's right. Oh, what the hell? Let me go back. Let me read this last. Let me go back and read this verse. Because yeah, that's why he that's why he that's why he's the way he is. Um, let's read this verse. We're gonna come back and end it with this. The Wadi Abba Shimel All right, we're gonna go back to Genesis chapter 27, verse 41. I'm gonna read 42 and then bring it home. And Esau hated Jacob. Esau hates you, Negroes and Hispanics and Native American. Your father is Jacob. His name was changed to Israel because of the blessing. We are blessed. All right, wherewith his father blessed him. Esau said in his heart, in his mind, this been this been dormant for decades, centuries, to today, 28, 2019, still in their mind. Esau said in his heart, the day of mourning of our father of our of my father is at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Then he will he try to he been slaying us for decades. They seeking to destroy us every day. So don't feel bad. We are blessed. <laughs> okay? Look, even Esau's own mama, Rebecca, said, yo, watch out. He tells the other son, watch out. Tell the other son, watch out. Look, tell Jacob, watch out. And these words of Esau, her, her elder son, were told to Rebecca. And she sent and called Jacob, us, our father, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay. Her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doeth confront, doeth confront himself, proposing to kill thee. That's what they cool nothing. What do they do? Oh, this is twenty nineteen. That's how you know racism ain't going away. That's how you know racism. Is, you know what? You hating us? We hate you. But we're not gonna raise a, 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 a hand because our king, Yahweh, our father and king, Yahweh Shemel Yahweh, Yahweh, said, don't work, don't raise the hand. Let them run their mouth until I run down on them. So the same one that created you, created us, is gonna run down on you.
Okay? And with that, all praise and honor and glory go to Yahweh Shemel Shah. The water Yahweh Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstones. deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.